Hello everyone. This message is being recorded on Wednesday the 10th of June 2020 and it's intended for all Hetton School students in years 7, 8, 9 and 10 and for their parents. The situation we've all been over the last few months has been one that none of us could foresee. It's led to so much pain, loss and suffering. My thoughts go out to anybody who has lost loved ones during this pandemic that's caused so much upheaval in all our lives. The last time I spoke to many of you was in school assembly prior to our closure for lockdown and that feels like a long, long time ago. In this message I intend to lay out key information for students, parents and talk about what the future may hold for everyone in September. Although we remain closed, key workers and parents or carers of vulnerable students can contact us if they've got no alternative to sending their children into school the following week. We currently have nobody doing this but please see our website and blog for more details. Firstly, I want to speak to our fantastic Year 10 students, but it will be useful for everyone else to listen in too. Listen, I know that you're going to be worried at the minute, partly because we reminded you so many times about how important these years are for your education. This is true, but please try not to be concerned. We're doing all we can to support you through this difficult period and I need you to trust that by continuing to study hard, using the work you're set online, making sure that you submit all your work, that you're going to be on track before too long. So, what should you be doing right now? Well, firstly, you've been asked to make a decision about which non-core option you wish to drop if possible. This is to put time back into your core subjects and will help the adjustments needed to make up for the lost time in school over the past few months. Secondly, and crucially, you should be accessing class charts every single day to see the work that's been set by your teachers. More and more lessons are being delivered online via Zoom with full safety precautions. These are linked into your class charts classes and can be accessed by any device with an internet connection. Thirdly, stay up to date. The Gavin Williamson, the Secretary of State for Education, who visited us earlier in the year, yesterday announced that Year 11 exams will take place next summer. And so you must work hard to not fall behind in your studies. You're going to be back in September and we won't let you down. To support you in all this, from next week, that's the 15th of June, we'll be setting up online learning conversations for small groups of students and your class teachers. Through class charts, you'll receive a link to a Zoom meeting from your class teacher. This can be accessed on the web, but ideally you'll have downloaded the app for Zoom in advance. In the conversation, you're going to be joined by up to eight others from your class. Your teacher will check on how you're doing, talk through the most crucial work and suggest ways in which you can work more independently to stay up to date ahead of our return in September. These learning conversations, together with the extensive work set on class charts and phone calls from your tutor, will be in place of any physical face-to-face -face sessions in school. The governors are, and I agree that the risk to students, your families, staff and the wider community that are associated with returning at the moment are just too high. Especially when we can support you in such a comprehensive manner through virtual sessions and distanced pastoral support. In the survey I sent out to parents a couple of weeks ago, we had 72 out of 93 parents respond and with over 60% saying that they would not send their child into school before the summer holidays. I'm comfortable with parents making that decision, but I would stress that these Zoom learning conversations and the work on class charts are the alternative. It is not optional. In, um, I don't want students to worry about the Zoom sessions. Listen, they've got security measures implemented and you don't even need to have your video on, although we would love to see your smiling faces. You could even set up a virtual background, which can be useful for those of you who haven't tidied your bedroom in the last week. Please use the messaging service on class charts if you've got any issues or questions. Talking of class charts, I want to stress to students in all years about the importance of home learning. So many of you and your parents have been doing such an amazing job working from home and we know it's tough and it's not like being in school. This is why keeping to a routine using class charts is so crucial. The likelihood is that even in September, we'll not be allowed back in school all at the same time. 
if any form of social distancing is in place, then we can't physically fit you all in and we don't have enough staff to support you. Therefore, I don't see that using class charts and accessing Zoom lessons is a temporary measure. It may well be with us for some time. Your ability to study independently and organise yourselves has never been more important. Your teachers are working incredibly hard to support you via class charts and in developing new skills themselves in doing so. They are monitoring what you hand in every day and although we don't want to threaten to use sanctions for not keeping up to date, there are actually lots of rewards on offer for those that do. Teachers have been giving feedback to those who have submitted work online, whether this be through uploaded documents or photos of handwritten work. Just think how hard we work you when you're in school and push yourself to the same level when you're working from home. Remember, the learn to achieve messages that we always repeat. In the long term, effort beats talent every single time. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, but make sure you learn from them and seek feedback to improve from your teachers. And finally, be resilient. We're all facing that test right now. You may feel overwhelmed by the amount of work set on class charts, but don't worry about it. Just get yourself as organised as you can and importantly, ask for help. As far as possible, get up early as you would do on a normal school day, whatever that means now. Get dressed, eat something healthy and start work by 10 past nine, just as you would do in school. Follow your normal timetable, give yourself breaks on lunch times and build yourself in plenty of exercise breaks too. Most importantly, if you need help, do not be afraid to ask that's what we're there for. Use the new Messenger app on class charts itself and be honest when your tutor comes calls to check on how you're doing. To help all students and parents, we've put a new section on the student page of our website. This contains guidance on all aspects of home learning. Lastly, on home learning, well done to so many students who have achieved WellPoint Awards. Staff are still awarding well points every single week for all work submitted based on engagement, the effort that you've shown and the resilience that you've demonstrated. It's really important during closure that you stay safe. We've shared messages with you prior to closure about staying safe online and we continue to share messages through our social media platforms every week. Lockdown is challenging, and for some of you, there are indeed added challenges due to family circumstances. We are there to support you if you need it. Tutors and the pastoral team have been contacting you all during lockdown. We've enjoyed talking to many families and finding out about how things are going during lockdown. If you haven't had a call, it may be because the number we've got on our system to contact you has changed. Email us or call us with these updates, please, because it's vital that we stay in touch. During our calls, let us know if you need any additional support and we will do our very best to help. There's also websites that we've flagged up where you can go for help and support or we can direct you to more personal support if needed. If you feel at risk of harm, then it's important that you let a trusted adult know, report issues to the website shared prior to closure or indeed contact the police if it is serious. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. A quick message for our Year 9 students and your parents about options. We're working hard to make sure that our options process runs as well as possible despite lockdown. I know that you've received a booklet with information on each subject and you can take um, different subjects in Year 10. This is your choice. We're doing our best to make sure that all students receive their first choices. But as I speak, some returns are actually overdue. Tutors are calling to chase this up, but it's a complex process and we really need your choices as soon as possible. If your first choices are not possible, then we're gonna call you to make sure that we have that important conversation. But despite the lockdown, staff recruitment has actually gone really well, and there will be an additional two teachers with us in September in humanities and in art and design. I need to stress though, that in core subjects that you've already started, your path to GCSE. And so keeping up to date with work on class charts is crucial for you to make a great start in September. I hope that you've all been able to keep up to date with the messages that we've been putting out on our social media pages. We post on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter 
whilst ensuring that all of our key messages get copied to class charts for our younger students. There's been lots of challenges posted in the last two weeks, and these are for year six pupils too. We've got Miss Riddell's art and baking challenges, ones from English and media, quizzes from Mr. Hutchinson, and guess the teacher from the baby photos, and lots, lots more. Many of you have also had a go at the challenges on the new Hetton PE Facebook page. And through all these options, you can earn wow points and even a chance to win Amazon vouchers. I'm sure that every one of you is wondering what will life will be like here in September. But at present, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. We'll be developing a range of options for addressing all of the issues so that we prepare in the best way possible. But I'm sure that you will be back in school in September for the vast majority of your week. The Department for Education and the local authority are providing guidance and we will take on board everything that is necessary to work in your best interests. You will always be at the centre of all of our decisions. Finally, and on a personal note, I've been a head teacher or head teacher for 23 years and I could never have foreseen the situation that we find ourselves in. The last few months have been tough because we've all missed our students. Hetton School is about helping you to become the best that you can possibly be. So not being with our students day to day to support them and challenge them has felt really hard. We're all adjusting and learning new ways to work and to live. But it will be about how resilient we are. That will determine our success in coming back stronger. We are and always will be committed to you as individuals. Take care and stay safe.